Oh, I can get used to this. You guys look amazing. You look younger than in that video. Yeah. Do they look fantastic or what? 30 years. 30 years! years. <laughs> well, guys, it's, uh, I mean, who'd have thought? Back in 1982, when you did it, you won the race. Uh, it's funny, and Julie said the other day, sorry, Kathleen, I kind of took the limelight away from you, but it, it becomes a situation now where 30 years later, it seems like it's like that. And you went through a lot of training together to get here together. And tell us a little bit about that process and the mindset of going, you know what, I think I want to go back. Well, for me, coming back was just like in 1982 when I came here for the very first time. Uh, finishing the race changed my life forever. And now in 2012, I needed Iron Man because I needed to change my life forever. <laughs> and this was a very important goal of mine to get here. And when I came back, in my mind, I envisioned it with Julie. And so we've been training together since February 6, 2012. We started off with a 2.4 minute swim, 112 minute bike ride, and a 26.2 minute run. And now we're training 24, 30 hours a week, and here we are, ready for that a great so day. so cool. So Julie, being, what, 22, 23 years old when that happens, and how do you deal with that? The, you know, being, it puts the sport on the map, Crawling across the finish line, everybody went crazy and flocked to do Ironman and flocked to do triathlons. But as somebody, how long did it take you to come to grips with that moment and accept that moment? About 30 years. <laughs> I think that's when Kathleen planted the seed of coming back. At first I wasn't so interested, but she was very persistent. And pretty soon her dream became my dream. And I wasn't really sure what doors were gonna open and what was gonna be new for me. Until I got here, my life, 30 years of my life is a Lee Drive. And I think I needed to come back here to remember my roots, to appreciate the time and effort I've invested in this island and what it has given me. It gave me this incredible opportunity to be 23 and maybe not appreciate what I gave to other people but to know that anything is possible. It gave me love. It gave me an incredible up close um, chance to understand what a true champion does to win this race. And I'd like to acknowledge Mark Allen for being one of those amazing champions. And I also need to acknowledge Paula Newby Frazier. I had the good luck to, to live and train and be a part of their lives. I got a beautiful son because of my relationship with this island. He'll be here. He doesn't arrive till 5 a.m. on race day. Little, um, doesn't organize very well. It also gave me an opportunity to see what the next chapter in my life is going to bring. It gives you all, especially you first time Iron Man out there, the first one's the best. Don't worry about what it looks like. And you're going to have an amazing day. And I get to see what this Iron Man is going to bring to me after 30 years. I'm so excited to share this race with all of you. Julie, I got one question for you, though. Do you still have the hat from 82, that baseball cap? Do you know how much that'd be worth? That has, hat's in the Smithsonian. No, it's in the Smithsonian's closet. But it went to the Smithsonian on a display, and I never got it back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So Kathleen, goals. You've set goals for yourself, obviously, with your training. Have you set a goal for race day? You kind of just besides finishing, tell us what you want to go through on race day. Well, first of all, it's all about the, the training is just a great part of the journey. And this year's theme is talking about respecting our roots and embracing our journey. And the training has been so phenomenal. I've enjoyed that tremendously. That's just, the Ironman lifestyle is just the best. So I'd say for me, my goal is, of course, I'm grateful to start, I'm grateful to finish, but I'll lay it out there. I'd say my absolute dream race would be 11 and a half hours, and I'm hoping to come in somewhere under 13, but I will cross that finish line and I will be an Ironman, and I'd love to share it with all of you. All right, and Kathleen, one more quickie for you. So. I've watched a video a million times, and I see you pass Julie. Did you not see Julie? 
Well, you know, Bob, I don't look for my competition on the ground. Oh! <laughs> That's a good question. Who looks down? I love that. I absolutely did not see Julie. And I, as you can see in the video, I was so surprised that I won. And uh, I didn't find out what really, truly happened until I watched it on Wonder Woman Sports. All right. How about a big round of applause? Yeah, for two 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 Kathleen McCartney host, 30 years later, the Thank band.